Hi, Floss Tube. My name is Devin, and this is my Floss Tube channel. Welcome. Today is Friday, the 6th of December, 2019, and it is 1235 in the afternoon. I'm coming to you from Northeast Florida, west of Jacksonville. And again, welcome to my channel. This is all about my cross stitching. Um, today is a beautiful day in Florida. We are having sunshine and mild weather. I'm enjoying it. Um, this past week has been busy for me. I worked yesterday, let's see, 14 hours yesterday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then Wednesday, I worked 15 hours from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. So it's been a long week. But I'm glad it's over with and today's Friday and I'm doing my floss tube. Today we, I am going to bring to you a finish, not a FFO, but a finish. Uh, whips, haul, previous finishes, um, shout outs. I have picked the giveaway winner so I will announce that at the end of the video. And my plans. For some of my plans for the coming year. So what have you guys been up to? I am on social media all the time. I'm on Instagram as Devin FL. I am on Facebook as Devin Hanna. And my shop, I have an Etsy shop, and that is Strawberry Lane, and that has its own Facebook page now. So if you want to go check that out, um, it's at Strawberry Lane. You can see all my updates in my Etsy store and plans and interactions, what I'm working on. So if you want to go join my Strawberry Lane Facebook page, go ahead. I welcome everybody. Um, so let's get started um, with, let's see, I got to look at my notes. With shout outs, I hardly watched any floss tube this past week i was so busy working so i didn't check out any new ones but some oldies but goodies are stitching with the real housewife priscilla and chelsea she everyone knows them they're an awesome duo and they always have fun stuff to watch um christine at hollis hands create she has a itsy page and she started a floss tube she just put up a new one so go check her out and Stitch and Buttons, Vicki, down south from me. She has a new, a new floss tube up, a new episode up this week. So go check her out. Um, all those are good floss tubes. I was able to get those in in the last two weeks. So hopefully this next two weeks I'll do better and watch more floss tubes. Because I really enjoy watching them and seeing you all. So um, from there... I'm going to show you some previous finishes. Um, the first one up, I did this last year. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces for Christmas. It is a Prairie Schooler Santa. I don't know which one, but it's that one. And I put it in the sled frame. I found, where did I? Joann's. I found it at Joann's, I think, not last year, the year before, and it was on clearance. So, and it fit perfect in there. And then... This pick came already done, so I just bought it and glued it on, and this is one of my favorite pieces to hang up each Christmas, so, and stuff. So that's the first one, and it's done. I stitched my Santas on 28 count Monaco tea, dyed, tea and coffee dyed by me. And then another favorite of mine, I stitched this a couple years ago too before everyone went um, crazy on it last year. But I put in the French words for it instead of the English ones. And this is by Blackbird Design, Joyous Noel. And I changed up some of the collars and the pattern. I didn't put all the snowflakes in it. So that is another favorite of mine. I get to put up each year and then this is by Plum Street Sampler hello winter and who doesn't like a sheep and a cardinal 
And this is done on a 36 count, I think Winter's Brew. And this is, this pops out so I can put the other ones in. So those are my previous finishes. I hope you enjoyed those. I enjoyed stitching them immensely. And let's see, finishes. For finishes, I only have one, and but I have been stitching, so it's just a small one, but it is a finish. It's not a FFO, but it is a finish. And it is my 2019 Prairie S School Santa, and I love this one. And this is stitched on 28 count tea and coffee dyed Monaco by me. And this is one of my new needle minders. Let's see, there we go. They're in the shop. It's Buffalo check with like Ray Dunn words on it. So go check that out if you want to. But there's that finish. And I use the required collars. I use the required threads that it called for. I didn't change anything. The only thing I changed was I didn't do the border around it. I don't do the borders. I don't like borders. I just, you'll see that on all my prairie schoolers that have borders like that. I just, I don't do them. Can't do them. Don't want to do them. Let's see. So though that is my only finish for this week. I worked really hard to get that done, even though it wasn't, it's not that big, but it's, I stitched on other stuff too. So it wasn't like that was the only thing I stitched on. So let's go into whips. The first, let's see, here we go. The first whip up is the Prairie Schooler. You'll see it's one of my favorite designers and I'm working on December. And this is how far I've gotten. And this is stitched on 28 count tea and coffee dyed Monaco by me. So there's that one. And then up next is my Six Fat Snowmen by Lizzie Kate. And I got November's block done. And I did the free pattern in between the two blocks. And that is where I am. So I did this block over here, and then I did the birdhouse with the birds, which is a free chart on their website. And this is stitched on 28 count tea dyed Monaco by them. It comes already tea dyed. So I have two more blocks to do in that series. So I'm hoping to get one done in December and then her Hopefully early January, I'll finish the last block. And then up next is one I can't put down right now. It is Kathy Barrick's Reindeer Games. And I'm really enjoying stitching this one. And this is how far I have gotten. And I am using the called for DMC. It calls for needlepoint silks, but, but she has a conversion to DMC, so I'm using the DMC colors. And this is stitched on 36 count Winter Moon Edinburgh Linen. One thread over two. So those are my whips. Um, I need to... I need to start something else because I finished the Santa. I think I might start another Santa. Which one, I don't know yet. I'll, have to, I'll keep you posted. I'll get you posted on that as soon as I know. So, for my 
Let's see, we got plans and we have haul. I got a lot of haul, so let's go and test haul. I kinda ordered a lot this past couple weeks and it all came in. So, first up it's a hands-on design. Cool Yule. And I have black fabric already for it, so I will be stitching this. And then I have this one by Collection Tra La La. And I got these from Hollis Hand Creates, Christine on Etsy. She has an Etsy store that she sells. And she is really quick shipping and fast. And she has a ton of patterns. So if you need something, go check her out on Etsy. And I got this one. I just seen everyone stitching this and I thought it was so cute. And Teresa Cogart. And then I got this one from Kitten Stitcher, Teresa. And this was in her cell bin. And then on top of the cell, it was 50% off. So I got it for like four something. And I'm a, I'm a big, um, it's a small world ride person. That's my, I hate to admit it, but my family thinks I'm crazy, but that's one of my favorite rides at Disney World. It's a, it's a small world. It's just so bright and cheerful. And so when I saw that on sale and then 50% off, I, ha I knew I had to get it. Here's another one I got from Hollis Hands Create, Christine. And there's so much you can do with just this pattern. There's tons of ornaments you can pull out and just make. So that is my stitchy haul for this past two weeks. Um, now on to plans. Let's see. Um, each year our EGA does a challenge list. What you do is you, you pick items that you think you're gonna stitch and then you put a dollar amount to them and that is what you put in the kitty. And then at the end of the year, every year at our Christmas party, we have a, you, and then when you finish the project, you send a picture to the coordinator who's in charge of it. And she makes a list of everyone that has finished their projects. And then at the end of the year, at the Christmas party, we have a drawing and half the money goes to our EGA fund. And then half goes to the drawings. And we, depending how much money we make, we either have a first place, second place, or third place. Um, so each year we do that and um, so I make a list and put a dollar amount I put usually like five dollars per pattern and I have up to fifty dollars worth of stuff I do so this year a lot of my plans are gonna be on that um, list first up is going to be Blackbird Design Morning Star and I have the threads pulled for it already. It's only four collars, so it's an easy one. And I don't know what fabric I'm gonna stitch on it yet. So that's plan number one. That'll be a quick one. And then plan number two is going to be this Prairie Schooler. And I've seen this done, both of these, done on black fabric and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm going to do mine on black fabric. So that's an, another plan. And then this one, I'm going to do the wordplay from Brenda Gervais. And I have all, I have up to, let's see, one, two, three, May. I have up to May patterns. And I heard on Saltbox Stitcher, Carol, and I think Brenda and Laura from uh, Sampler Stitcher and Serial Starter that um, 
when someone has a multiple of patterns that they're gonna do, a one designer, they pull all the threads for the pattern. So I'm working on that right now. This is the thread so far I have till through May. So I'm missing a couple, so I still have to get some threads. But And I, I don't know what fabric I'm gonna use yet on this. And these are being kept. This is my favorite bag. <laughs> This is the medium sized bag in my shop, but this is my one of my favorite bags I made. It's a Mickey and Minnie. And then the zipper pull I got when I went down to Disney World and they sell these charms with the lobster claw on them already and that just fit perfect. So that's being stored in that bag. And I have this size bags in my Etsy store. So um, trying to think of what other plans I have. Let's see, just, I'm going to do five ornaments. Um, Brenda Gervais. Oh, I'm going to finish the Reindeer Games. You can have a project started already as long as it's not more than 75% done already. So, Reindeer Games is going on my challenge list. The Christmas Sampler, Prairie Schooler, five ornaments. The Wordplay Game. Um... Let's see, what else was there? I think that's it right now. Oh, and once I finish the um, the Six Fat Snowmen by Lizzie K, I'm going to start the Bell, Six Bell Snow Women, and that'll go on my challenge list too. So that is my plans for next year. Hopefully I can keep, keep them. And let's see. Um, up next, let's do the winner for the giveaway. And the giveaway, if you remember, was this beautiful tin of tea. And this is fine breakfast tea, traditional English tea. And then you got this pattern. And these floss tags. And this bling for your ring. And then this. Nose such as that needle minder. And then you got this beautiful bag from my good friend Pam, who's at Good Fiber Arts or Handmaids on Etsy. That's a, and that's the back. So that was the giveaway. And I did a random generator and the winner is Julie Larson. So Julie, if I'll put my email down, if you can email me your address, I'd be more than glad to ship this out. I gotta go to the post office later today. So if you could do it before then, that would be awesome. And congratulations, Julie. Thank you for everyone that commented. The question was what, if you could only stitch one designer for a year, what designer would that be? And mine right now would be Prairie Schooler. I have tons of patterns of theirs and I could stitch them for multiple years and not get bored with them. So Prairie Schooler was my answer. Um, okay, let's see. The only Etsy shop update I have for you guys are these needle minders, the, the Buffalo check ones. I added those. I did add some more last night, but I showed you those last at the last update and I forgot to load them up in my shop. So those are up there now. Um, I wanna thank you for everyone that has purchased from me. My floss tags are flying out the, the door. I just sold my last batch of Christmas ones. So I have no more Christmas ones in the shop. I might be putting some more in. Um, 
we'll see. And then I had a friend order 30 Christmas ones for her Christmas party this past over Thanksgiving weekend. So I was busy making those and shipping those out to her. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been busy, but it's been a good busy. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making things and selling them and seeing where they go and seeing you guys use them and your projects and stuff. So thank you again for supporting my Etsy store. I really, really appreciate it. Um, other than that, um, today I have to go to the post office, do a little running around. Friday nights are my husband and my date night. So we go out to dinner and then we'll stop and go to shopping somewhere. Um, and tomorrow is my EGA meeting, so I'll be busy doing that. And then Sunday, I have to do some sewing, clean up my craft room, and do some sewing. So those are my plans for the weekend. Nothing else going on. We have our decorations up. I'll be posting pictures of that soon. Um, my husband started a Christmas village a couple years ago, so I'll post a picture of that. I have a stitchy tree. I did my hutch this year with cross stitch and ray done so i'll post a picture of that and stuff so it's it's coming together christmas i can't believe is like in 19 days it's coming by too fast unfortunately this season goes by really fast and it needs to slow down so other than that everyone i hope you have a fantastic weekend thank you for joining me here i know mine are short I don't know how y'all talk for an hour or so. I can't think, and I can't think of stuff to say that long, and which is weird because I, I talk all the time. So you would think I would be able to come up with stuff to say, but it is what it is. So y'all have a good weekend and come back in two weeks. I'll have another floss tube update. And I really enjoy talking to you. And we'll see you later. Bye.